A revolution that does not produce a new space does not realise its full potential. Uh, this quote from Henry the Third after uh, this is a quote from Henry Lebeau after researching <coughs> his life when he proposed the idea of the fully revolutionised revolution. Yeah. So, so the first art artist related is the British artist. What he did is to simply cast those wasted or cage objects with the cement, like the leaves of the corn cups, the wheels, or other ubiquitous objects uh, associated with every life. Next slide. And he set up a range of, I mean, set up uh, those objects with a, a kind of holistic form of the installation. It is pretty obvious that he tested the hierarchy of those being aligned with his artistic practice, even uh, akin to a form of the sculpture itself. But yet yeah, you might ask, where is the new space created and the, the revolution? It is not only situated in his you know, innovative usage of the genre, but uh, admittedly, a profound investigation of the potential of those, uh, those ordinary objects and the space they surrounded. And also, you know, the space they, so this investigation, like, and indeed, he succeeded to scrutinize in a conspicuous exposure of those the potential itself, thereby attaining, accomplishing that, that kind of production through the revolution. And next slide. And, uh, also, uh, well, this study of the, the ordinary being, I mean, those everyday things, should connive and connive at this stage. He, her subjective space towards the public usage as a kind of outcome of this production. Well, nevertheless, <coughs> And next slide. Nevertheless, you know, this, uh, the most efficient production of the, the space should mainly be recognized in the, the space of the inhabitation accordingly. And this, uh, I mean, this, the reason that this revolution of the inhabitation can be achieved is mainly, I mean, mainly attributed to the, mainly attributed to the body's manifesto and the protest, encompassing both of the artists. <coughs> I will wear as a pretty famous precursor of Chinese contemporary art development. In 2007, as he invited 1001 Chinese to Germany as a purpose of travel, setting up a range of facilities and the, the support for them in such a migration form, you know, migration like form. You know. And uh, likewise, the touching seer, you know, let himself stay outside for a year, you know. Like um, James Early also likes his work for uh, everyone. It's made to be thought provoking. Um, the space on the streets where homeless people live is usually looked over by passers by and refugees are rolled away so people don't need to look into their eyes. Uh, painting homeless people in the way he does early is challenging a social hierarchy. Paintings as realistic to life as his are usually reserved for people of a higher status. Therefore, his traditional art style creates a paradox <coughs> and experiences it. Um, in early's life, he works for charities uh, to help homeless people. Uh, so you might think like, oh, he's trying to help these homeless people, but he works in the art business, which is quite like, you know, they sell their things for a lot of money, but he does try and help these people and create better spaces for them. Um, when his work is placed in galleries, um, with other forms of art, it emphasizes the idea of new spaces. As he creates his collages, Magic Park is organized their forms and patterns. His goal is to express his desire to destroy with his work and his rejection of the conventional architecture following the first idea of revolution. Next slide. Next slide. Is <coughs> okay, and then uh, the next one. Thank you. Uh, Nanjun Pig is um, they int introduced for the first time the te the television into into the art format. In this way, he understood where she privated them uh, of their private space of their the space that usually they don't show so easily to the stranger, so others. Um, and um, in that way, she uh, creates this relationship between uh, they, also if they don't even know each other, uh, so the guest of the hotel, and uh, thanks of this, um, no. <coughs> and like All right, so in conclusion, the, uh, so the in conclusion, the revolution of the inhabitation itself prevails in medical form of the artistic practice as, the, as a, our desire to the, the production of our own ownership 
of the space, leading to a leeway of our beings and also uh, feeling room for about our existence in the society. As we have already grow a kind of self-realization about today's suppression and the takeover of the space by the capitalism and the consumption systems, to rather access by what the firm asserted about the revolution through the collective power as a target to reshape. All right, that's it. In our world, like the, if I'm the, I become quite famous artist. I desire a kind of gallery uh, expectation because I'm, I'm in this profession. Like I enter the gallery, it seems like signify kind of uh, succession of the, I mean, succeed. But, uh, isn't, that, I isn't, that, but, but isn't that kind of succession, if you like? Isn't that part of the problem because it's run by capitalism? It's, yeah, it's kind of fed by capitalism. Yeah, indeed. So, to some extent, we, uh, you know, we are pretty inert then to trade with the, this part. You know, it's a paradox. So it's um, much deeper. For, so what's the, the genuine meaning of the revolution? It's, a, it's a pretty controversial as well. Uh, yeah, but the revolution that, I mean, he wrote that quote in, what, 1974? Yeah. You know, and he came out of Paris 1968. Yeah, Paris 19... Last, the mm. Paris 68, you know. 68. That was a kind of revolution that kind of nearly came off, you know. But, but that's the... But, but tends you know, to a kind of a political aspect, you know, and also the know, democratic thing. So what, what kind of revolution are you thinking it is that? I mean, if, if it's not a revolution that's political, what kind of revolution is it? Uh, you mean you mean toward those artists' work or yeah? I mean, or, I mean, I mean, how, I mean you you know how do you then define revolution? I mean, what how do you define that? Yeah, for us, the revolution either situated and the spiritual part or the the the, the physical activism you know, for those parts and for those artists, they mainly you know for, for to some extent they enforce in you know, the bodies the uh, the work of the urban space, but to some extent they are. They use the kind of uh, expression, the art practice, and to express this. Part. So, I mean, revolution there, but it's it's something else, right? That's a big question. But yeah, of course. But is that is it possible to do that as individuals? And it's, isn't it about how we connect to each other to form that? Yeah, indeed. That's what uh, I will wait and you can see a get through their own performance to the kind of a relationship to the urban space and. Uh, even a kind of uh, you know expression of the revolution, the desire of the production of the nation. Um, okay, uh, up to to you guys, right? Um, do you think um, do you think art can make revolutions? 